This color display is excellent for those projects that require a relatively big screen, retaining the simplicity of other smaller displays used with Arduino. I've seen different sizes and modules for this display, although I prefer these two. The only issue is that they only support 3.3 volts logic, requiring the addition of a few resistors to the I.O. pins. The 2.4 inch display has touchscreen capability, but I still don't know how to make it work, so I will only show how to use the display itself. The 2.2 inch version doesn't have the touchscreen, so it doesn't have those extra pins. Not long ago I made a tutorial for a similar display, which uses the same UCG library. My example sketches are almost identical, so if you ever use the UCG library, then you are ready to go. You can download my sketch on the description and read the comments I put all over the sketch to understand how to use it. It's very straightforward, although you need to select a font. Here I listed my favorite ones. Over here we are going to print this text, but you also need to set a text color and the background color using RGB values. Also specify the position of the text and print the actual text. I do the same in here, but since I'm going to use the same background color, I don't need to add that line again. After this I draw a bunch of shapes as an example of what you can do. All this is on the setup to print the static things only once and on the loop we print the numbers that are continuously changing. First I increase by 1 a variable that I made and reset to 0 when it goes over 150. When I later print that variable in here you will notice that it aligns the numbers to the left and also requires adding empty spaces to fill the empty digits. For that reason, I also convert the variable into a string to have the right alignment. You need to specify the amount of digits and decimals. The result is stored on this variable. All we have to do is print that variable and that's it. One problem with this library is that the refresh rate is not that great. And it's even worse if you update everything on the loop. If you need a faster refresh rate, you can use the Adafruit library instead. Although it doesn't support custom fonts with a background color, so the numbers are going to look pixelated by using the standard font, or use a custom font that flickers because you will have to override the previous text before printing a new one. If you prefer to use the Adafruit library, the example sketch is also on the description. Overall, it works very similar to the UCG library, so everything is going to look familiar. You can read the comments I put on the sketch to get the details. That should be enough to get your project going, and if you have any question, let me know and I will try to answer as soon as possible. Good luck and bye bye!